And hello once again. I'm going to show you how to access the Adura Vigilance European Database of Suspected Drug Reactions in reference to the COVID-19 inoculations, vaccinations, whatever you want to call them. All right, to start off with, first on the YouTube channel itself, I'll have the links. And for those not familiar, we're going to be using Pandas, Python, regular expressions, and you know, date time as far as imports. So let us begin to start with. First, you go to the Adura Vigilance European Database Suspected Drug Reaction Report site, obvious. Now, what you end up doing is you either can go through search or you can follow the link. For the simplicity, we're going to follow the link, all right? Now, before I begin to get too far, I want to show you a couple of different items here uh, to keep an eye on. We're going to have two separate download sections. The first one right here is real important because I'm going to show you the limitations of the size of the database, meaning you cannot download all the data, even if you wanted to, because there's some limitations in reference to uh, CSV files. We'll look at that in a second. And number two, we'll all focus on primary is the serious reactions only, since we can't download all of the reactions reported to your Dura Vigilance site to begin with. So with that in mind, let us begin as well. So here we go, back to this accept the disclaimer then you click on C now sometimes your site will be on here and you may not find it but just remember to keep this highlighted here and I'll get you there all right so then we scroll down scroll all the way down and you're gonna find the four inoculations now if you're here in the United States they go through different names in the European Union so let us get down to the COVID vaccines and there we are see right there there it is and you see for example Pfizer or maybe actually either referred to as this or commonarity or something like that you'll get the idea AstraZeneca Janssen sometimes known as Johnson and Johnson you get the picture but what we are going to do is I want to show you basically we are going to download this first and this is important because this is going to show you the limitations of the database itself now what am I talking about limitations well let us begin so if you go to the web user guide, you can see right here, if you're using Excel, and this is where a lot of uh, data analysts or for example, make mistakes, is they think they're downloading all the reactions. Well, they only been maybe downloading 13,000 rows. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize CSV. And CSV, of course, is gonna give us, if you look at that again, is gonna give us 100,000 rows. Now, they're a little generous because it does go over a little more than 100,000, but we will not be able to download all of the reactions for one main reason. There are so many reports being submitted to Endure Vigilance that basically the system has become overwhelmed. And you'll see why in a second. So we're only gonna be able to focus on the serious reactions. So let's get back to here again. All right, let us basically go to the, the database we opened up. Remember what we did is we clicked on Pfizer Biotech, and there you see 574,427 reactions. Now the problem is each one of these is an ID, and each one of these IDs basically indicates a row. So according to the CSV file here, whoops, let's go this way, all you can have is 100,000 rows. You see what I mean? So that's your caveat you have to watch out for. So by keeping that in mind, what we are gonna do is we will go to this line listing and we will download just the serious reactions. So you click on here, run serious reactions, and then you hit run line listing report. Now, this is how you get to the information. Come on, go there. All right, now what you do with the information is you go scroll all the way down to the bottom. Down, down, down. And right there, let's see if I can show you a little bigger here. Right there. You see that? This little thing right there, the export. All right, so what that is going to be, I'm just keep on showing you just in case you don't see it. That little export button is where we get our file. So you hit export. And right here, you see CSV. And then from CSV, you hit click. And from there, you'll begin 
to download your file. Now we're going to cancel since we're already downloaded. So that you're going to have to do that for basically each of the individual uh, vaccines being administered through the Dura Vigilance or the EU, I should say. So you'll have to do that for each of those individual vaccines. So you have four different files. And now we go to our data. Here we go. Ready? Now, well, this is the full database. Now I'm going to show you exactly where the problem is. Let's run first to import those, um, the modules. Now, when it, if you see these uh, right here, that's the CSV files. Now we are going to upload them first into our notebook. If you're using Jupyter Notebook, whatever um, IDE you're using, just keep that in mind. So let's basically do this. Boom. So we're going to upload all these files into the system. Now, what we're going to do too, we want you to see there, is we're going to check the lengths. There's the lengths. 249,904. If you notice for basically, let me show you for example. If you notice for example for Pfizer, right there. And also for AstraZeneca, right here. 249,904. Now these haven't maxed out yet. But that's about your max, 249,904 reactions or IDs that can be submitted. Yet, we looked at basically um, Moderna. We go back here, just to reiterate, is 574,427. So we don't have that number, do we? You see what I mean? The system's been overwhelmed and it needs to be updated badly. And that's about the max you're going to get if you try to download all of the reactions. It's 249,904 individual reports. Now, let us begin with working just with the serious reactions. Remember when we ran the line this report? And so I'm going to do the serious reactions. And now, because we had this, this will give us more pertinent data that we can utilize in a serious reaction in reference to the Endura Vigilance is anything that requires medical attention hospitalization, so on and so forth, reported to the database. So let's check out our lengths. And we're heading towards the end of the year. But if you see right there, we're about to max out even our file download sizes in reference to serious reactions. And so there it is. So you get, now you get an idea. So now we begin to look at the head of the data. This work gets a little confusing. All right, see right here? A lot of these files, or I should say these columns, if not needed for just general basic scraping of the inoculation site itself, we're just going to cancel out these rows, like the, IC, like the ICSR forms, uh, like this row here, and so on and so forth. And if you look at this, for example, I want to show you a little way we're going to cheat as far as extracting data from that particular column. And here, we're not going to cheat, but I'll show you how to break up each one of these individual, um, basically, uh, reactions that are reported to the database, and then for be able to compile them as far as a count. You'll see what I mean in a second. But a lot of this data, for example, uh, you're not going to need. So let us begin. All right. So first, I'm going to do is I'm expand the database out here, just to give us some, just to, so you can read the whole column. And here are some of the the hazards that you have to watch out for in reference to the, the data. See right here, all this information, you have NAs, you have, um, you, ha you have basically, whoops, you have your, um, your breaks, uh, so on and so forth, parentheses. We're going to use this to our advantage because we're going to delete the information in between the parentheses utilizing our regular expressions. Again, this is not a course on how to do it, obviously, because I'm a real amateur amateur. But just an example on how I do it and show you how you can do it as well. All right. And so, for example, check out the next column. You see the vaccine information. A lot of this information is not going to be required. And because all you have is this information here. Once you have that, all we do, if you notice, for example, is we make, whoops, we make another column. And we just make the column, for example, if it's for down, we're downloading from the Moderna um, file, then basically just add that extra column to Moderna. Pfizer, Pfizer, Janssen, Janssen, AstraZeneca, AstraZeneca. And therefore, you can bypass 
all of this stuff, all right? And just with a new column. You'll see why in a second. So let's begin. Oh, also too, when downloading the information, you see right here, you must ignore the index. If you do not ignore the index, you will still get the same length of all the files, but obviously the numbers uh, are not going to be able to easy, be easily be pulled up. If you make the mistake, you'll know exactly what I mean, because I did make the mistake the first time myself. So now let's concatenate all the files since basically we have all of the same columns, but in a way that it's not going to overwrite any of the particular indexes. All right, now let's look at our columns. There's our columns, just keep that in mind. Now let's check our lengths. Now remember, these are just the serious reactions. So you have 505,026 serious reactions that required medical attention claiming reported to a dur dur vigilance. Now what I want to do here is I'm just going to assign that to a Z, the variable. So just because um, we can put it in the title of our graph at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we are going to drop all of the columns that we don't need just to make it easy. Okay. So we look at here, a lot of these we don't need. So basically we're just going to drop them. All right. So as you see right there, drop All right now, let's do that. All right. Now let's look at our data frame. There we have it. We have just a few of the basics that we need and the do we, oh, look what I did. We forgot to hit, see that. That's how we make the mistake. I forgot to execute that cell. Let's concatenate again. See how easy to make a mistake? I got ahead of myself, but simple fix. There's our VAX. Still, same length. Assign the variable, even though I don't need to hit that again. Drop our columns that we don't need. And now let's look at it again. There it is. Because again, we're linking the vaccine to the CSV file we're downloading as opposed to trying to mine the information from it itself, but still just the same. Let's look at this. Now we got to filter through all of this and extract all the reactions and then put them into a plot. You ready? Let's look. So here we go. We're just basically extending the column width again. That's not a requirement, but all the code will be in the YouTube site. You can follow on your own. Now, let's look what we got. Now, check this out too. You see a little dot right there? If you're not careful, you don't see it there. But when you copy and paste that column, you'll find it tricky and I'll mess you up. Here we go. Ready? Ba bum. Let's see what we got. We're basically processing and pulling things out. Now, what we're doing here is this. See this right here? For the simplicity, you can use regular expressions and you ignore case and if you want to and all that other stuff. But just for simplicity, I just wanted to apply, change the name of the files from these super long ones into shorter ones because it's easy to work with and made everything uppercase instead of saying ignore case later on. All right, now to our regular expressions. You see right here? There we are. Regular expressions. And what we're going to do is you notice right here, is we are going to replace, basically erase them from those not familiar. Replace those items so basically it goes away. Here we go, ready? Let's boom, into variable, ba ba ba. And then here we go. Now we're replacing all the information, get the average warning, so on and so forth. Now let's see what it looks like. We took out everything in the parentheses, we took out the breaks, and so let's see what we got, boom. Now here comes the fun part. All right, what we're going to do, you see all of the, everything separated by a comma, as you can see, right? The comma there and comma there and comma there. All right, so what we're going to do is treat it like a list. We are going to split it. And then what we are going to do, which is really takes a little bit of finesse. You see these IDs here? You see that ID 37 right there? All right, you'll watch what happens. So we're going to do something called explode. We're going to take pandas explode and we are going to explode this line. And what that's going to do is that's going to make additional rows. Now keep in mind, if you, if you want to report on the number of serious reactions, it can interfere. So get the length 
of the data uh, of the data frame or number of rows of the data frame before you do this because this will give you a false high on the uh, number of rows after we explode it. You'll see exactly what I mean in a second. And here we go. You see this right here? That code right there. Watch. Boom. And now we explode all this right here. Check it out. You see it? All the same ID right there. You see all the same ID, but we took all of the information here and created entire new rows. Meanwhile, maintaining the same information that's required associated with that ID. It's important if you're trying to link certain things as well, but that's from explode and we explode with the column reaction. All right, now here we go. Now we go to our value accounts. Just to give you a good look, there we are. There's our value accounts of all the serious reactions associated with uh, reports being submitted that required medical attention. All right, now we build a data frame. Dun, dun, dun. And you can see right here, we're gonna do our next counts again, or value counts. And let's see, boom, 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 just going through. Now what we're doing here, let me just back this up just a little bit. Let's add an extra column so you can see. All right, we're doing here is, there's a lot of reactions. And so a lot of, for example, the way they reported, you see a lot of ones. And so what we are doing here is we're querying the data frame, data frame, data frame, but we're doing over a certain number. You can change that as you want, but I want to make sure it's at least 10,000 uh, reports submitted to you during vigilance or more. And so that's where we're querying. And we already did it. So here we go. Let's look at our example. Now this part you don't require. This is just basically using Plotly. And uh, the next part, and you see here, so now I want to take this and without me, you know, being too specific, we're going to be using a graphing system called Plotly. And we're going to take all that and make this visual. Here we go. Ready? And here comes our plot. Give it a second. And there it is. So there you have headache, you know, pyrexia, fatigue, chills. And these are all the reactions that have been reported to endure vigilance that basically required medical attention. All the way down the line, at least a 10,000 more or above. Once again, all the code I'll put on the YouTube channel. I think we may have the only angle brackets we have are right here. And keep in mind, YouTube does not normally allow uh, angle brackets being placed into it's a comment section, uh, obviously for what's called scripting attacks, if you're not familiar, uh, but it'll all be there for you as well. And as well as the link to the site and uh, any questions, you know, I don't I'll get a chance to answer too many because, you know, a lot going on, but I'll try to answer any questions you possibly have as far as accessing the Endure Vigilance European Database of suspected adverse drug reaction reports in reference to da, 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 the COVID vaccines. Again, hope this helps. I made this a little easier. This is a redux. We, I did this before. And so what I did is I, I basically took some of the looping aspects away that are not required and tried to basically made it some easier shortcuts that like, for example, add in the column, a reference to the CSV column uh, type of vaccine, uh, which makes it a little easier uh, to work with this particular data frame itself. Again, Ralph signing off, and I hope you find this information useful, and I'll catch you all next time. See you then. Bye.